Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dehiman and in this video we will learn about the parallax method. Okay, so what is the parallax method we will see first and then we will see how we can use this parallax method to measure very large distances. Okay, very large distance means sup suppose the distance of the sun or the moon from the earth surface. Suppose we want to measure the distance between the moon and the earth. So this method is used with certain condition. Okay, so we'll see one by one. So first of all, let us understand what is parallax. Okay, suppose we have an object here. Suppose this is an object S. Okay, this object is named as S. Suppose we have eyes here, the two eyes. Okay, so one eye, suppose this is the left eye. And we have a right eye here. Okay, so this is suppose right eye. Okay, this point is suppose, this point is suppose A and this point is suppose B. These are the observation point and we have the object is S and suppose we have a background here. Suppose this is the background. Now, if we cover this left eye, okay, with some object and if we want to see with this right eye what will be the background position of this object so this object will have a background at point suppose this point is suppose c okay because we have covered this left eye and we have seen only through the right eye and if we see through the right eye this s object will appear with a background of c now we'll cover this right eye and we'll see only through this left eye that is from point A. Okay. So what will happen? We will see the object with a background position at point. Suppose this one is at point D. From this we can understand that if we observe the same object with the left eye with right eye covered or with the right eye with left eye covered, then the position of the object with the background is different so we can say that the object shifts its position from c to d so from c point to the d point the object is shifting its position this is called as the parallax so why this parallax happens this parallax happens because the distance between the two eye see there is certain distance from a point to the b point this has certain distance so this parallax happens because of the distance between the two eyes using this method we can calculate the distance of very large distance object i have already told you that we can use this method to measure the distance between the suppose earth surface and the moon or we can say that the distance between the sun and the earth surface okay so this method is especially used to calculate the distance of a star or a planet from the earth okay now how we can use this method let us see suppose the object is at this point suppose this object that is the s now we are observing from the suppose earth surface this is the suppose earth surface and we can observe from point a and observe from point b okay now let us connect these two points okay and these two points let us now connect suppose the distance between the s and the point a is capital d Similarly, the SB will also equal to D. Why it happens? Because this S is very large distance object. Okay. And we can say that suppose this distance is small b. The distance of separation that is AB is equal to small b. Suppose we have assumed this. So we can say that this distance of the object at the space is very, very large than the two point of observation A and B. It is very, very greater than small b. So when the distance of the object is at very large distance, okay, and the observation point is very small. So what we can say? So we can say that this point A and B, this is a part of the arc. And this arc is a part of the circle with center at point S. So when this is an arc with a point with a center at capital S, now when AS is equal to BS, okay suppose the angle is theta as shown here okay now when this angle is theta what we can write sine of theta is equal to theta for very small values of theta for very small values of 
theta okay because this value is theta value is very small of the order of less than one degree or less than two degree okay so what will happen the sine of theta sine of theta what we can write it is equal to theta so sine of theta what will happen sine theta is equal to perpendicular divided by hypotenuse p by h okay here p p means perpendicular is the small b okay so here we'll write small b divided by this hypotenuse hypotenuse is this one d okay so what will happen this is capital d okay so sine theta we can replace with theta because theta value is very small so we can write it as it as theta is equal to b by d now this condition is satisfied only when this b value is very very smaller than capital d okay so from here we can write capital d that is the distance between the earth surface and the suppose planet or the star is equal to b divided by theta so now we have to keep in mind that this theta is in radian it is not in, in degree okay we have to express the theta value in radian okay so using this method we can find out the distance capital d from a earth surface now suppose we want to measure the diameter okay so this is the second number of challenge now we will find out the diameter of a planet or a star how we can do that so we'll use the same principle suppose we have a planet let us suppose enlarge this planet suppose we have a planet like this one okay so we have to measure the diameter so this is the diameter suppose it is denoted by small d suppose we want to measure the diameter small d of this planet so what we can do we have to look from the earth surface okay suppose this point is small s okay from the surface so here we can see that the distance okay this much length is the suppose capital d suppose this distance is equal to capital d and this is already calculated in the first part now this d is already calculated okay this already calculated so in the first part we have calculated the value of capital d so this d is already calculated now we want to find out the small d value let this angle is alpha okay the angle a as b is equal to alpha okay we have assumed this one so using the same principle that is it if we assume this is a part of the arc so what will have a s equal to b s okay and from that we can write that this alpha is equal to small d by capital d and this alpha is in radian unit okay so this is the angle alpha between the two extreme points of the planet we want to measure the diameter so this alpha is equal to small d by capital d now if we want to find out the small d that is the diameter of the planet then what will have small d is equal to alpha into capital d so this is the formula for finding out the diameter of the planet now let us see one example okay so from your textbook that is ncert book suppose example number 2.4 let us consider this point so in this question you can see from the book okay so in this question we have the sun's angular diameter is measured to be 1920 second okay it is given in degree minute or second okay so it is expressed in 1920 second okay the distance capital d of the sun from the earth surface is 1.496 into 10 to the power 11 meter what is the diameter of the sun okay we have to measure the diameter of the sun so what are the givens let us write down first so solution so first of all write down what are the given points alpha the angle okay here we have seen this one is the alpha okay this angle is given 1920 second so now we have to convert into radian because all this formula is applicable with the angle represented in or expressed in radian so how we can convert this into radian in case of radian we know that 360 degree 360 degree is equal to twice pi radian okay so what will be one degree one degree equal to twice pi by 360 
radian. 1 degree will be this much. This 1 degree is equal to 60 minute. Okay. 60 minute is equal to 2 pi by 360 radian. So, 1 minute, what will be the value? So, it will be 2 pi divided by 60 into 360 radian. So, from here we can write 1 minute is equal to, so this is equal to 2.908 into 10 to the power minus 4 this much of radian. How, 1 minute is equal to how much second? 60 second. 60 second is equal to this much 2.908 into 10 to the power minus 4 radian. Okay, so 1 second. So here we'll have 2.908 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 60 radian now we can write it as 1 second is equal to 4.85 into 10 to the power minus 6 radian okay so this much radian we have for 1 second so this is degree to radian conversion okay so 1 second is equal to this much of radian so we are given with alpha equal to 1920 second okay so alpha in radian so what will be the value 1920 into this much of value 1 second value okay 4.85 into 10 to the power minus 6 4.85 into 10 to the power minus 6 radian so here we'll have alpha is equal to 9.31 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian okay so this is the alpha value or the angle or this is called as the sun's angular diameter okay so this value is given now we are given with another value that is the distance of the sun okay capital d value is equal to it is given as 1.496 into 10 to the power 11 meter okay so this is another given value now we have to find out the sun diameter therefore we have already calculated for sun diameter so this is the d value okay so this d value is equal to alpha into capital d therefore we can write sun's diameter is equal to small d so small d is equal to we have already found out it is alpha into capital d this is the formula okay so sun's diameter small d is equal to so what will be the value here alpha value we have found out to be 9.31 9.31 into 10 to the power minus 3 into capital d value is given as 1.496 into 10 to the power 11 okay let me draw a boundary here okay so this much of value now we have to multiply these two values and we will have 1.39 into 10 to the power 9 meter that means the diameter of the sun is this much of meter so this is the solution of this problem number 2.4 example number 2.4 from the book thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel please subscribe to my channel and also share with your friends thank you